All right. Um, earlier today, I did a little video, um, like a little overview or a look at, at the uh, new Ubuntu 11.10, which is the beta. And um, as everybody knows, the classic desktop was removed, right? And, um, you know, the new Ubuntu 11.10 is pretty much built on top of GNOME 3. And GNOME 3 does have a, a classic looking desktop, uh, GNOME fallback mode, I believe it's called. And, um, you know, the fallback mode is a lot like GNOME 2 right it's not quite there yet as far as what gnome 2 does but it's it's very very similar and um let me show you what i mean so i went ahead and i installed the fallback mode on this virtual machine of the beta right and uh you know it's similar to gnome 2 but it's not quite there like i said you know some of the uh the applets don't really work yet you know what i mean the sound applets i think it's a little bit different i mean not the sound i mean the network manager right and um you can move stuff around if you press the alt key but well at least on fedora it did i don't, I don't think on this one it does well i don't know anyways um i don't know if you noticed this but i managed i managed to get uh comp is up and going right so i mean just because you know you know ubuntu is you know removing gnome 2 you, know, you can still have you know something similar to it right if you, if you absolutely need that classic desktop it's still here but it's not quite there yet, you know what I mean? See the wobbly windows work. Um, you know, one thing I gotta say that that the screen recorder is really, you know, uh, making this very laggy. It's actually very, very smooth. You know, this newer comp is, I guess. Uh, the previous version of it was kind of sketchy, I guess. It, it, it crashed a lot, or at least for me it did. And um, anyways, uh, to get this set up, it was a little bit tricky. Uh, kind of like before, you know, you gotta like, uh, you know, click on the cube, then you got to rebuild your plugins again, whatever. Um, when you log in, when you when you install the fallback mode, it'll, when you log out to your login screen, there's like a little gear, and it'll say like GNOME Classic or something, with or without effects. Either of them didn't work for me, so once I got the Compass installed, I had to go in my terminal and type Compass dash dash replace, and that enabled Compass, but I still had to do my plugins and stuff, and and that didn't work out right, and it was a little bit of a hassle, but. But um, hopefully after, you know, when the beta reaches to an RC, you know, I'll probably try this again and maybe I can make a better video on how to do this. It's just a little bit tricky and it's a little bit of a hassle. I'm not really too sure if it's even worth, you know, doing right now. But anyways, it is it is there, you know, I mean, you can have a classic looking-ish, I guess, uh, desktop if you absolutely need it. But anyways, that's just, this is a quick little video I just want to just throw out there for everybody. So uh, anyways, um, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys later.